The Red Sea, a crucial waterway connecting the Middle East, Africa and Asia, has long been a focal point of geopolitical tensions and strategic interests. Amidst the shimmering azure waters and the sun-kissed coastlines lies a complex web of political, economic and environmental factors that shape the region's dynamics. At present, the Red Sea finds itself once again at the center of global attention, with escalating tensions and maritime disputes threatening to destabilize the area to unravel the intricacies of what's truly unfolding in this vital waterway. Scott Ritter, a seasoned expert in international relations and security affairs, provides invaluable insights. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. As a former United Nations weapons inspector in Iraq and a respected commentator on Middle Eastern affairs, Scott Ritter brings a wealth of experience and knowledge to the table. His analysis cuts through the noise of mainstream narratives, offering a nuanced understanding of the underlying dynamics shaping events in the Red Sea region. According to Ritter, the current situation in the Red Sea is not merely a localized maritime dispute, but rather a manifestation of broader geopolitical rivalries and power struggle. At the heart of the tensions in the Red Sea lies the competition for control and influence between regional powers such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Iran, as well as global players like the United States, China and Russia. These actors vie for dominance over key strategic choke points, shipping lanes, and maritime resources, seeking to safeguard their interests and expand their spheres of influence. Moreover, the Red Sea serves as a conduit for the transit of vital commodities, including oil and natural gas, further intensifying the competition for control over its water. One of the primary flashpoints in the Red Sea is the Bab el Mandeb Strait, a narrow passage that links the Red Sea to the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean. This strategic waterway is not only a critical transit route for maritime trade, but also a potential hotspot for conflict and instability. Scott Ritter emphasizes the significance of the Bab el Mandeb Strait in global trade, highlighting its vulnerability to disruptions caused by piracy, terrorism, and military confrontation. Recent developments in the Red Sea have heightened concerns among international observers, particularly regarding the escalating tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The long-standing rivalry between these regional powerhouses has spilled over into the maritime domain, with both countries seeking to assert their influence and control over strategic waterways. Iran's support for Houthi rebels in Yemen, who have targeted Saudi oil tankers and infrastructure in the Red Sea, has further exacerbated tensions and raised fears of a wider conflict. The Red Sea is witnessing increased competition between rival military alliances, most notably the Saudi-led coalition and the Iranian-backed Houthis. The Saudi-led coalition, supported by Western powers such as the United States and the United Kingdom, seeks to contain Iranian influence and maintain control over key maritime routes. In contrast, the Houthis, emboldened by Iranian support, challenge Saudi hegemony in the region and seek to disrupt maritime traffic through asymmetric warfare tactics. Amidst these geopolitical rivalries and security concerns, the Red Sea also faces environmental challenges that threaten its fragile ecosystem and maritime resources. Pollution, overfishing and climate change pose significant risks to the biodiversity and sustainability of the Red Sea, exacerbating existing tensions and compounding the region's vulnerabilities. Scott Ritter underscores the importance of addressing these environmental threats in conjunction with geopolitical issues to ensure the long-term stability and security of the Red Sea. Economic interests play a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of the Red Sea region. The discovery of offshore oil and gas reserves has sparked a race among littoral states to exploit these valuable resources, further intensifying competition and rivalries. Moreover, the Red Sea serves as a vital artery for global trade, facilitating the transportation of goods between Europe, Asia, and Africa. Any disruption to maritime traffic in the Red Sea could have far-reaching implications for global commerce and energy market. Against this backdrop of complex dynamics and intersecting interests, Scott Ritter emphasizes the need for diplomatic engagement and multilateral cooperation to mitigate tensions and prevent escalation in the Red Sea. Diplomatic efforts, he argues, should focus on addressing the underlying grievances of all parties involved and finding mutually acceptable solutions to maritime disputes. Moreover, regional and international stakeholders must work together to enhance maritime security, combat piracy and terrorism, and promote sustainable development in the Red Sea region. The Red 
C, with its strategic location and rich history, has always been a crossroads of civilizations and a focal point for trade and commerce. However, in recent years it has also become a theater of geopolitical maneuvering and military competition, raising concerns about the potential for conflict and instability. Scott Ritter's analysis sheds light on the underlying dynamics driving these tensions, and offers valuable insights into possible pathways towards peace and security in the region. One of the key drivers of instability in the Red Sea is the ongoing conflict in Yemen, which has spilled over into the maritime domain and exacerbated regional rivalries. The Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, aimed at countering Iranian influence and restoring the internationally recognized government, has further complicated the already volatile situation in the Red Sea. The conflict has led to a humanitarian catastrophe with widespread suffering and displacement, and has created fertile ground for non-state actors, including terrorist groups and criminal syndicates, to thrive. The Red Sea is increasingly becoming a theater for great power competition with major global players such as the United States, China, and Russia vying for influence and control. The United States, for instance, has maintained a significant military presence in the region, including naval assets and military bases, as part of its broader strategy to counter Iranian influence and safeguard its interests. Similarly, China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI has led to increased Chinese investment and infrastructure development in countries bordering the Red Sea, raising concerns among Western powers about Beijing's expanding influence in this geopolitical landscape. Maritime security has emerged as a paramount concern, with piracy, terrorism and other maritime threats posing significant risks to commercial shipping and regional stability. The Red Sea, with its narrow passages and congested shipping lanes, is particularly vulnerable to these security challenges, which not only disrupt maritime trade but also threaten the livelihoods of coastal communities and undermine efforts towards sustainable development. Addressing these complex security challenges requires a comprehensive approach that goes beyond military solutions and addresses the root causes of instability in the region. Scott Ritter advocates for a combination of diplomatic engagement, conflict resolution, and capacity-building initiatives aimed at promoting stability and security in the Red Sea. This includes strengthening regional cooperation mechanisms such as the Djibouti Code of Conduct and the Red Sea Indian Ocean Corridor Initiative to enhance maritime governance and combat transnational threats. Efforts to promote sustainable development and economic diversification in coastal states can help address the underlying grievances that fuel conflict and instability in the Red Sea region by investing in infrastructure, education, and job creation. Countries bordering the Red Sea can foster economic opportunities and reduce the appeal of extremist ideologies and criminal activities. In addition to diplomatic efforts, Scott Ritter calls for enhanced maritime security cooperation and capacity-building initiatives to combat piracy, terrorism, and other maritime threats in the Red Sea. This includes strengthening the capabilities of regional navies and coast guards, improving information sharing and intelligence cooperation, and enhancing legal frameworks for prosecuting maritime crime. By working together to address common security challenges, countries bordering the Red Sea can promote stability and prosperity in the region. Scott Ritter underscores the importance of international engagement and support in addressing the complex security challenges facing the Red Sea region, the involvement of regional and global powers, including the United Nations, the European Union and other international organizations, is crucial for coordinating efforts, mobilizing resources, and providing technical assistance to countries in the region. By harnessing the collective efforts of the international community, we can address the root causes of conflict and instability in the Red Sea and pave the way for a more peaceful and prosperous future. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us what is your opinion on Scott Ritter's explanation of the current situation in the Red Sea? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.